Hey mom, wake me up at 7 a.m. When was the last time you remember saying that? In a world with voice assistants at our beck and call, it's hard to think of a time when our phones were not smart or their only purpose was to actually make a voice call. In 2020, our phones are just so much more than just phones. From having a tiny screen in the Nokia 3310 to having a huge touchscreen display now that are almost as big as our faces, our smartphone experience has come a very, very long way. Smartphones now make our lives so very convenient. Want to watch a cricket game? No need to turn on the TV, just watch it on your phone. Want to click a photo? No need to carry bulky camera equipment, just use your phone. Even though we've been using smartphones for quite a few years now, the overall experience has changed so dramatically in the past few years. Phones have become faster, quicker over the years, performance has reached new highs. Now we can download our apps within seconds, our games are more fluid, much better graphics and our pictures have a lot more depth and detail. We are moving from phones with one camera to phones with as many as six cameras and maybe eight to ten by the time the year is over. And if you look at the numbers, we have phones with 108 megapixel cameras. And I won't be surprised if we very soon have a phone with a 200 megapixel camera. All of this has been made possible because of the processor inside our smartphone. In the past five years, the CPU performance in our phones has increased by, you know, it's even hard to say it, but by around 500%. That is insane. And yet the main reason our phones have become so powerful, that processor inside. Now we all know that fantastic gaming and camera performance is directly linked to having a great processor inside the phone. But did you know that your processor doesn't just play a big role in these huge features and aspects, but also every time you touch it to book a cab or to order food online. The processor also enables things like location accuracy as well, which means that the pin that you drop for your home address, those are more accurate if your phone has a great processor inside, which means the chances of your food reaching you faster are even more guaranteed. So we know now that the processor is definitely an important part of your smartphone. But how often do we check whether our device is running the latest and greatest processor? A recent survey from Amazon India says that the processor is one of the top three things that people actually search for and look for before they buy a new smartphone. Honestly, for me, it's actually the number one factor. My smartphone's life depends on it. And one company that has been raising the bar consistently with smartphone performance year after year is Qualcomm. Through their Snapdragon line of processors and their work has been so incredible that almost 72% of people buying new phones want a Snapdragon processor in it. As per again a recent Amazon survey. So let's hear from Qualcomm on what it takes to deliver a superior performance that translates into a superior user experience. Now let's talk to Sachin Kalantri, Senior Director, Product Marketing, Qualcomm Technologies. Sachin, thank you so much for joining us on the show. You know, the recent Amazon survey is a very astounding affirmation of Snapdragon's leadership. How did you make this happen? Thank you, Raji. It's really heartening to see consumers love for Snapdragon. Our mantra is very simple. We keep consumers at the center of whatever we do and take a long-term view of what kind of experiences will delight consumers. The process is not all that simple. The reason is we need to be always at the leading edge of innovation cycle that requires visualizing what consumers will need 2 to 10 years from now as well as large R&D investments. Sachin, very interesting. But tell me something that I'm very intrigued by. What does it mean for you to actually plan for these features ahead? Can you explain this whole planning journey that you actually undertake? Absolutely, Raji. It takes about two years since we start planning a mobile platform to getting a smartphone in the hands of a consumer on which is based on that platform. As you would appreciate, smartphones have become a great integration point for multitude of technologies, be it multimedia, be it camera, be it gaming related, AI, be it even audio, connectivity and so on and so forth. In each of these areas, we have to plan ahead to see what kind of newer experiences we can bring to the consumers. In the process, 
we work with many uh, almost every hardware component providers as well as OS providers and independent software vendors to make sure that we bring those experiences in the hands of the consumer in the way that they would appreciate as well as deliver value to the consumers. Sachin, how do you enable experiences specific to the Indian consumer? That's a very good question. India market and Indian consumers are very important to us and we take extreme care to enable experiences that are suited to them. You can consider this as a multi-part process. First of all, as part of our global planning process, uh, we have India market included in all the research and surveys we do for the next level of consumer experiences we want to enable. Secondly, we also work very closely with the local ecosystem to develop differentiated features for India market. For example, we work very closely with ISRO to bring navic navigation systems on our platforms. Even before government mandated local language support, we had local languages working on our platforms and so on and so forth. Secondly, we also work very, very closely with operators to make sure all our platforms are completely tuned with the networks to enable communication experience, which is par excellence. Thank you, Sachin, and I hope you join me back on this very special segment. Now let's move on and speak to Navneet Nakra, Vice President and Chief Strategy Officer at OnePlus. Thank you for joining us, Navneet. So Navneet, tell me, what is the role that has been played by the Snapdragon 865 processor to make the OnePlus 8T such a great phone? Uh, that's right, Rajiv. We are very excited about the launch of the OnePlus 8T 5G flagship smartphones, which is also made in India like all our other smartphones. The OnePlus 8T is powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 865, which plays a key role in the overall performance of the flagship smartphone. The Snapdragon 865 is also 5G enabled. By using this platform, we are ensuring our devices are future ready. Navneet, what differentiates OnePlus 8T from the OnePlus 8? The new OnePlus 8T with its upgraded specifications will enable users to perform tasks at a faster and a smoother speed. The OnePlus 8T has been upgraded to include a flat display with a 120Hz refresh rate and a versatile camera module for all your videography and photography needs. In 2019, at OnePlus, we made a promise to equip all our upcoming phones with displays with a minimum 90Hz refresh rate. This year, we launched the OnePlus 8 Pro with the 120Hz refresh rate and the OnePlus 8 with a 90Hz refresh rate screen. We're happy to bring the same 120Hz refresh rate to the new OnePlus 8T 5G phones. Now, need something that I think everyone wants to know about. OnePlus has stuck to the Snapdragon family of processors for a very long time. Can you explain why you're so loyal to them? What differentiates Snapdragon from any other? Well, you know, Rajiv, at OnePlus, we believe in sharing the best technology with the world. As part of that, we also work with great technology companies that manufacture top-of-the-line hardware. Without doubt, Qualcomm has been a key partner that we have worked with closely since the launch of the company to create flagship smartphones. Consumer experience is central to our design and we take great pride in extending the powerful experiences enabled by the Snapdragon mobile platforms to consumers. After all, Rajiv, we never settle for anything less. Okay, great. Now, Navneet, gaming is a very important aspect for OnePlus and OnePlus users. How does the Snapdragon chipset play a huge role in that? The Snapdragon 865 enables premium gaming performance on the phone and coupled with a 120Hz refresh rate display, the OnePlus 8T empowers users to enjoy a lag-free gaming experience. And Navneet, what about 5G readiness? At OnePlus, we are aware that users do not change the devices frequently, Rajiv. Keeping this in mind and the importance of being future ready, with the Qualcomm 865, our devices are 5G enabled. Thank you, Navneet. Thank you so much for joining us on this very special show. Mm -hmm.